We're in Baraboo, Wisconsin, and we're about to check out Circus World. And we want to see a big top 10 circus. So come join us. Let's go. Welcome to Circus World, which sits atop the historic Ringling Brothers Winter Quarters. Just a 15 minute drive from Wisconsin Dells. It's a treasure trove of American circus history and artifacts. Our family are avid circus fans, inspired by classic movies like Dumbo and The Greatest Showman. However, we have yet to experience the thrill of a real big top circus. In this episode, we are changing that. Come join us as we show you around the museum and showcase some amazing circus acts. Welcome back, Cracker Spirit. You have Carl here. If you're not familiar with our channel, we're a family travel vlog. We love to go to local spots, tourist attractions, and weird or wacky places. When we arrived here, we did end up getting our tickets right here at the box office. You can also purchase tickets online. As you can see, March 18th is when it opens, just in time for spring break. But I would say wait till the summer season starting on May 17th to September 1st because they have big top performances during that time. Before we went to the big top circus, we wanted to see the exhibition hall. We wanted to see all the cool historical artifacts from different circuses that made its home to Wisconsin. Yeah, growing up, you know, I would always be at the circus usually for our grade school uh, field trip. It's probably one of the most exciting times, eating some popcorn, uh, watching the trapeze act. It really is ingrained into my memory growing up. So these are early circus posters. This one is from 1897. As the years came, the posters got brighter and more colorful. 1906 right here, Norris and Rose shows. And here's Melissa being in those wheel of death things. Good job, Melissa. Whoa, you're doing good. It looks like the staring at us. Are you staring at me, guys? <laughs> this section gives the outfits from the animals that was at the circus back in the day and also the folks there. Mark, I can dress you up in that green outfit over there. I'll wear the purple one. This reminds me of The Greatest Showman, one of our favorite movies. I love that movie. <laughs> I feel like it's looking at me. Bah! <laughs> See, it looks like you're a beauty, and then you end up, in a second, transforming into a gorilla. Oh my goodness. Dude, that's a pretty good trick and then transform back. You know, to be able to go to all the different places and see how things were, I know socially things have changed a little bit uh, and the sentiments on circuses, but just seeing the history and taking it as of for its time, I think it's a really good thing to see. So like when Rosie sees certain things, those are things from the circus that she would have no idea on right now. It looks like there's the river walk out here. So when you get done with the museum section, take the river walk and cross the bridge, and then you'll take you to all the other areas. Our final mission today will be catching the full-blown circus act. With the first outdoor show about to start, we made sure we got across the bridge as fast as we can, and the kids were ready to see one of their first circus acts. Daughter, you will believe it or not, as the lovely Sophia goes in for a hoop spin. No. Oh, no. no way. Oh. No way. Oh. I believe decided to lead the charge to see the elephants. It's me and the elephants. Something I was surprised to see was the Asian elephants. Right here in the front is Viola. She weighs 10,000 pounds. And right behind her is Kelly. And she only weighs 7,500. The last time I saw elephants was probably around 10 years ago when Addison and I went to Ridley and Brothers because eventually they were phased out. But then they told us what was happening with the elephants here. This is the last season that we will have elephants here at Circus World. They will go on to the Endangered Art Foundation in Hugo, Oklahoma. 
Make sure you stay at the end so you can see one of the last performances of these elephants. An interesting fact is this whole section all around here is basically the winter quarters for Ringling Brothers. From 1884 to 1918, this was the home of Ringling Brothers Circus. This location was the circus's headquarters and wintering grounds. So many of the buildings that was owned by Ringling Brothers still stands today, and even the animal quarters. So when you walk around, inside these buildings are a lot of the artifacts from the circuses throughout the years. Right behind me is the Elephant House of 1897. Uh, this was where the elephant herd for William Brothers was kept and also their training facility. Yeah, so what they had here, this was uh, their winter home. So we found a little door down here. We're like, what is that? It's the manure door. Manure door? <laughs> yeah, they poop and you slide it down. Looks like our little monkeys are hungry, so time to find some food. So they have the cookhouse grill here. If you're looking for to get some snacks in between your circus runs. Okay, if my tongue is blue, it's because they gave me some gone and candy. It's pretty good. You can't go to a circus without the gone and candy. No, look at that, blue. I think it was really educational for the kids to see the circus of yesteryear. So look, you got some sword swallowers, the hairy man. He looks like a werewolf. So there's families that, that look like we're... like Chewbacca. It does look like Chewbacca. But look at this one, it's a bearded lady. A bearded lady. That's a... Oh yeah, I know the bearded lady. We are so excited. This is our first time going to a big top tent circus. As we walked in, I felt like we were transported back to the early 1900s. All right, saving spot for the big show. Suddenly, the circus performers began to emerge captivating us with the remarkable talents, one after the other. It was as though I had stepped into one of those classic films featuring the circus. The performers seemed like real life superheroes, dazzling us with their incredible abilities. Then, in one of their final performances at Circus World, the elephants made a majestic entrance. What was your favorite part there? Yeah, I like the elephants too. You did? Yeah, but I did not like the smoke. And I really enjoyed that. I think, you know, it brought you back in the old time of having these big time tent shows uh, full of circus and all the different acts. Something that I would, you know, recommend if you're a fan of the circus. Click right here for another Wisconsin Dells area hidden gem, Dr. Evermore's Sculpture Park.